the creative director here at Brambleberry, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make these sparkling snowball bath truffles. These bath truffles are really pretty easy to make. I kind of think of them as like making cookies. If you can handle making chocolate chip cookies, you can totally make these. Essentially, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients baking soda, citric acid, a couple other fun things with some oils and butters to create pretty much a cookie dough texture. And then we're gonna use a ice cream scoop right here, an ice cream scoop to just scoop that mixture and create this really fun shape. Um, of course, to kind of give that snowball feel, we're also doing a um, kind of blue and white theme along with a ton of sparkle. Um, it's really cool for the holidays, but honestly, I would use these all year round. The star of the show, in my opinion, is our Silver Sparkle Fragrance Oil. It is a new fragrance from our Holiday Gala collection. And really what we were trying to invoke, I mean, it's kind of silly to think about like, okay, what does a silver sparkle smell like, right? Well, it smells really good. <laughs> it's very, you know, um, it's just a really pretty, fragrance. So it has notes of some orange, it has notes of vanilla, like it's kind of this really good mix of sweet, creamy, um, maybe just a little bit of citrus. Honestly, it's a little bit, it's a little, it's a little hard to describe, but it's a, almost like perfumey fragrance. Like it's really well balanced. So none of these notes are like popping out in your face, but it just creates this really pretty fragrance. I think is really good for leave on products, especially like a lotion. A lotion with this would be awesome as well. So let's just go ahead and jump in, get started. I'm gonna whisk these guys away and bring in some of my dry ingredients. We're gonna mix our dry ingredients first, then we're gonna get to our wet ingredients, just like making cookies. Okay, so the first step of this is mixing, just like a, you would a bath bomb, is mixing our baking soda and our citric acid. So baking soda does have a tendency to be rather clumpy. So I'm gonna put this through a sifter and I'm gonna grab a whisk and just push that through first. You can see those clumps down there. Get rid of those, and that'll just make our mixture nice and smooth so you don't have any clumps later. Let's tear that. Um, citric acid doesn't really have a tendency to get cl as clumpy as baking soda does, although every now and then you'll get a clump, so I like to put it through the strainer just to be safe. Got our seven ounces, and it is a little bit heavier, so sometimes you gotta work a little bit harder, not that hard, to get it through the strainer. And then we're pretty much done with this, our strainer. Next is our cream of tartar. And that just kinda helps you um, just get fluffier bubbles, kinda get a fluffier texture. I have made this recipe without the cream of tartar, and it's fine, like it still works, but you do just get a little bit better bubbles, so keep that in mind. So before I add my SLSA, which can be a little bit tricky to work with, I'm actually going to mix all of this stuff up first. Just give that a good mix. And then I have my SLSA. So this is actually what is gonna make these bath truffles bubble. Um, it also helps disperse all of the butter that you know, makes this recipe so luxurious. It what helps disperse it in the tub so you don't have big clumps of oil just sitting on top. Disperses it evenly into the tub, which helps your skin you know, absorb it better. Um, it helps with like slipperiness after, you know, when you get out. Um, but it is, very, very fine and has a tendency to poof up in the air. And if you do sniff it in or, you know, breathe it in, it can be a little bit irritating. So treat it with respect, treat it very carefully. Some people like to wear a mask, no shame in that. Totally wear a mask if you're worried about it at all. Um, but I'm just going to, and I really am taking care to just slowly add that. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it does kind of poof up in the air a little bit. This is derived from uh, palm and coconut oil, so it is a natural product. It is actually a pretty gentle surfactant, which is basically just a foaming agent. Um, of all the surfactants that you can put into your products, this is, it really is a very gentle one, but it just is very fluffy and light, and it can cause you to cough if you get it in. So sometimes, just like when I'm mixing lye, I like to stand just away, like at an arm's length, 
and add it. And I, it's so light and um, fine that you don't need to put it through a strainer. Okay, so I'm going to set my dry ingredients aside for a little bit and we're gonna work on our liquid ingredients. So for our wet ingredients, uh, we are going to do a combination of some butters, a little bit of oil, some fun things, and then a couple of ingredients that are gonna help our bath bomb just work better in the tub. So the first one is shea butter. So I have my shea butter here ready to go. And then I'm going to add my cocoa butter. This is deodorized cocoa butter, but if you have um, undeodorized, so stuff that's a little bit more chocolatey smelling, that would still work really well. Works the same, you'll just get more of a chocolate smell, which I think actually would work pretty well with this fragrance because it's kind of creamy. And then I'm going to pop, I want one more. There we go. Um, I'm going to pop this in the microwave for about two-ish minutes, see where that gets us. Uh, the cocoa butter is quite firm, so it will need some time in the microwave. So my shea butter and my cocoa butter have spent about two minutes in the microwave and they're about melted. I'm gonna let that heat just kinda melt the last little bit, uh, chunks of cocoa butter. And then we're gonna add our other ingredients to this. So we are going to add a little bit of liquid glycerin. And glycerin is a humectant, so that means that it draws moisture from the air to the skin. So it's great for a product like this. It also kind of just helps with that consistency, the scoopable consistency. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of champagne extract, which is fun. It is dispersed in fractionated coconut oil. So just a nice lightweight liquid oil, just adding extra skin loving properties to this recipe. And then last but not least is our polysorbate 80. And this is really gonna help emulsify all these oils and butters into our water. Uh, so that just helps again kind of you know the SLSA does that as well because it's a, a surfactant So it's creating those bubbles, but this is going to help even more uh, Avoid the pools of oil on top of your tub And then I'm going to add the fragrance to this as well All right, so adding that silver sparkle And you know, mixing all of these liquid ingredients together in one go is just gonna help um, you mix everything in there easier rather than adding and then mixing it into your dry and adding again and mix it in. This is just like a one, dump it all in, mix it once, you're good to go. Give that a stir. And I don't think I see any more chunks of cocoa butter, so that has melted, which is great. So now we're going to bring back our dry ingredients and we're gonna add our wet ingredients. Alrighty, so I'm going to add all of this. And again, my SLSA is on top here. So I'm just going to slowly, and I'm gonna just back up a little bit. Again, it does kind of puff up that SLSA. Add all of that. And then I'm just gonna use my hands. If you have a uh, stand mixer at home, just like cookies, just like making cookie dough, you could totally use that for this recipe. We are just gonna use our hands here. And I'm just kind of almost kneading this in. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, yeah. <laughs> Brooke on camera can, it, the wind is blowing this way. <laughs> Everyone on camera, so the SLSA, it, I'm not joking guys, it does, you know, it does puff up in the air. It is, again, totally skin safe, but it's just really lightweight. So it can be a little irritating if you get it, um, if you breathe it in. So, sorry guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna really, now that the SLSA is incorporated a little bit more, I'm really gonna get into it here and just use my hands to mix everything in. And stuff likes to hide on the bottom, so you just bring that up. And then work it in. 
In a lot of ways, I almost feel like this bath truffle recipe, although it is more ingredients than a regular bath bomb, in a lot of ways it's a little bit easier because you're adding so much moisture from oils and butters rather than kind of playing that guessing game with witch hazel, uh, which can be a little tricky if you're a beginner, you know, to get that right consistency. It's easy to add too much witch hazel and have your bath bombs uh, fizz prematurely. Where this, we're not gonna add any witch hazel, so we're really not adding any water to this. It's all just like oils and butters. So we're doing pretty good. We're almost fully incorporated, but when I lift it up, I can still see some at the bottom. So just make sure to keep lifting up the bottom because those loose powders like to hide underneath there. Now we're gonna split it and we're gonna add some blue mica. So now we're gonna split this in half and I'm just gonna eyeball it, just add half into this other container. Um, if you wanted, this would be really cute, all white or all blue, so you could totally add this mica to the entire thing, but I did like the way it looked with that little bit of color differentiation. So just feeling it, that's about half. So I'm gonna use our blue slushy mica. And we're gonna add that to one container. And again, we're just gonna use our hands to mix that in. If you have a stand mixer, could totally use that. So if you wanted it to be a more saturated color, you could add a little bit more, but you're not gonna get a darker color because you're adding this to a white base. Uh, so in general, when I'm making any kind of like bath bomb or bath truffle, I like to kind of try and add as little mica as possible just to avoid um, a ring around the tub. But if you like a really colorful bath water, you could add a little bit more. Okay, so I'm not really seeing any streaks in here. It looks pretty combined. So I think we're good. Cool. So we're gonna set these aside and grab our wax paper. So this is gonna be our surface for combining these quickly. And this is a really, you know, non-scientific, <laughs> non non-artistic process really. We're just gonna layer these up. No need to really be super precise. And this is what's gonna give us our color, uh, kind of the stripes. Last bit of white, and then put in our last bit of blue. And this mixture is really fun. I mean, it's kind of a cool texture because I really could like, I mean, if you wanted, you could just like roll it up. There you go. <laughs> Like, that's pretty cute. You could, a lot of times people from here, you can shape, you know, what would be a bath bar that you could cut. Um, but we're just gonna leave it like this and use our scoop. Because I want this surface, I'm gonna, actually gonna put this back into my bowl to scoop out of. But a lot of times you could, like a lot of people just, keep losing my scoop. A lot of times people just, you can grab it from here and do it there. But to keep our workspace, I'm gonna awkwardly <laughs> transport this back into our bowl. Clean this off a little bit. All right. And we're ready to scoop. So I have my scooper here. This is the type that has a little handle that has, I don't really know a professional way to say this, the little the little movie thing, the scooper. <laughs> the thing that clears the inside off for you nicely. Really handy, so I'm just gonna use this. Scoop a little bit. And sometimes I like to give it a little press. You don't have to worry too, you know, clear off the sides. Ta-da! Cute little snowball. So again, just scoop, pressing that firmly. You can kind of clean off the sides with your fingers if you like. Use your little 
scooper clearer thing. <laughs> and create your little snowballs. Um, you can you like leave, I'll show you with the next one. You can leave a little bit more on the outsides if you kind of like, um, it's almost like the feet of a macaron, um, kind of those like messier edges, which can look kind of cute. Uh, so that's just a personal preference. If you want to clean it up or leave those. I do like pressing it firmly in there. I do think that's what gives you a cleaner top without extreme ridges. Like that one has a little bit more of a ridge, which is totally fine. Looks really cute too, but just a personal preference. We were just debating how big these are. Now I'm curious. These make about two ounces. They're 2.01, so pretty much two ounces on the dot. You could use a bigger scoop if you wanted. You could use a smaller scoop. Yeah, this mixture, because there is quite a bit of firm butters, we have the cocoa butter, we have shea butter, it does come away pretty cleanly from the inside of this, so there's really no need to like Woo, go crazy. <laughs> so there's really no need to like go crazy with uh, your scoop. It should be just kind of one and done. Uh, so just for fun, I grabbed, we have a big version of this. So let's make a couple big ones, because why not? A couple big snowballs. These look so cute. I love, I mean, obviously these look like cookie dough. It looks like ice cream. Um, it gives me so many good ideas. Like I want to make, someone make a mint chocolate chip of this, please. That would be really cute. <laughs> chocolate chip cookie dough, make all the ice cream flavors, all the cookie flavors. Looks so cute. Okay, I'll go back to my, my normal size, but those are great too. So really whatever size you have or can find, fit it all on here that up. This is a pretty big recipe, so you're gonna get quite a bit of bath truffles out of this. Great for gifts, every, you know, friends and family, everyone gets a bath truffle. Uh, but you could totally just, you know, cut this in half if you don't wanna make quite so many. Oof, sorry for that sound, everybody. So we're using the last bit of it. I'm just gonna press that in here. I think maybe I'll get one more. This is like the perfect size. <laughs> All right, this one might be a little bit short, but make it work. This one will be for me. This will be my tester. Gotta, you know, gotta test it out. There we go, okay. Oh, I was gonna say I have this one too. All right, so all of our bath truffles have been made. They look so cute. They, I mean, they really do look yummy. They look like ice cream, they look like cookie dough. Uh, and now we're just gonna do a little bit of glitter on top because these are sparkling snowballs and a little bit of glitter just makes everything look better. So for our glitter, we are gonna be using our Snowflake Sparkle Mica. It's a really pretty white mica that is really kind of nice and fluffy and just has a lot of sparkle. So there's a couple different ways you can add this. Honestly, my favorite way for this project is just to add it with my fingers. It does give it uh, kind of more clumps on the bath bomb, but that way you can just really see it. It kind of, kind of looks snowy, like fresh, fresh fallen snow to me. If you have a powder sprayer at home, that's another really good option. This is just adding a really light dusting of that mica, which looks really pretty to just really whatever you're going for. Um, a powder duster. Let's see if I can find one of those. Add a little bit of that in there. Or just even, a, you know, just a fine mesh strainer, even the one that you used for your baking soda. You can do that on top. A little heavier than the powder sprayer um, and a little bit more even than using your fingers. But like I was saying, I really liked 
just using my fingers for this. And if you want, go crazy. I'm just, you know, a little pinch. Really makes a big impact. I'm gonna finish quickly dousing these in our snowflake sparkle. So I'm just adding that last bit of mica to these. They look so cute. And they smell really, really good. Great for Christmas, great for the holidays, but again, I would totally use these all year round. The fragrance is, it, you know, it's complex enough that it doesn't scream Christmas, but it totally, you know, is great for the holidays, Christmas, all that good stuff. So now that these are done, you want to let them harden and cool. So, you know, they're pretty cool right now, but they are quite soft. So all those butters need time to harden uh, and that will make them easier to pick up, easier to use. These, I just made these yesterday, so they're really about 24 hours old, and now they are firm enough that I can handle them, that I can pick them up. That being said, they are still delicate, so they're still, you know, a little crumbly. Uh, you know, you don't want to like squeeze them, uh, bash them up. You know, they're delicate, so be careful with them. If you're going to sell these, I would. You know, if you're not shipping them, if you're just like giving them to someone or, you know, selling them at a market in a, a plastic bag or something, you know, a little pouch or something would be really cute. If you're going to ship these, I would use some kind of jar or something a little sturdier so that, that you know, nothing is squishing them. Um, gifting, same rules apply, uh, but they do become definitely like firm enough to package. So when you are ready to use these, a couple different ways you can do them. You can just, you know, plop them into your tub. It will create a slow, steady stream of bubbles and kind of fizziness and dispersing all those butters, sparkle, fragrance, all that good stuff into your tub. But really what I would recommend doing if you want a lot of bubbles, because it, if you, it'll create creamy bubbles, but to get fluffier bubbles, something a little bit more in your tub, you really want to run these under a faucet. Um, so, you know, breaking them up. A lot of times people break them up underneath one of these guys, that's always kind of fun. Um, but that's really what's gonna activate that SLSA and create kind of those creamier or fluffier bubbles in your tub. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you make this project, please share it with us on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you are with hashtag Bramble on so we can see what you make. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time, bye.